What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're taking a look at an awesome exotic puzzle. This forms a key part of Season of Plunder. So if you want to find out how to get your hands on it, all the key steps and some awesome riddles that you need to solve, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Another season and another exotic quest and this comes via the small treasure beacons that you can pick up from the star chart over in the helm. Now these become available at level 7, level 10 and level 16 with the first two offering buried treasure as a reward and the third and final one offering a buried exotic treasure. Now you can level up your star chart passively just by engaging with the season with the two key activities being the expedition and also the catch crash. Now the catch crash guarantees you a substantial substantial amount of XP towards your star chart with every four or five runs guaranteeing you a rank up package. However, if you want to mix it up and looking for something a little bit faster potentially, then expeditions could be where it's at. There is a cheese where you can duplicate the treasure, substantially cutting down the time to run through the expeditions. Now to pull this cheese off, you simply need to swap weapons just after you throw the treasure. This would duplicate this item, allowing you to throw it over and over again. But it's important to remember to get the most amount of XP from expeditions, you do need to have a map applied to get the additional loot at the end. You will get XP even if you don't have a map, but it is substantially less than if you run with a map or even the catch crash activity. So if you don't want to farm out those additional materials that you need for the expeditions, then the catch crash activity is the easiest choice. So that's a quick look on how to level up your star charts. We've reached level seven and have been able to pick up our very first cryptic quatrains. Now there are three parts to this quest. So depending on which one you're working on, I've added timestamps to the video description below. So be sure to use that to jump around. Now for this first part of the quest, there are four steps. Now to complete the very first step of this quatrain, you simply need to load into Sorrow's Harbor over on the moon. There are some keywords highlighted in gold to help us identify exactly where we need to go. So for this one, simply jump over into Sorrow's Harbor. Now upon landing in Sorrow's Harbor you will get a completion screen and also the brand new riddle for step two of this part of the quest. As we can see it also highlights Harbor and Sorrow once again, this time also referring to the Lost Sector over in Revelation. This can be found in Sorrow's Harbor. Now there's no special requirements to run this on any particular difficulty or with any particular subclass or weapon. You simply need to run the Lost Sector and open the chest at the end. Now once you've completed the revelation you'll get the third part of this quest this talks about the cosmos and the fallen saber so for this part of the quest we simply need to load into the fallen saber strike you don't have to do this in the vanguard playlist you can actually just select this from the director itself over in the cosmodrome now much like the revelation lost sector you simply need to run through the strike as you normally would opening the chest at the end now as before you'll get a brand new riddle this references europa and eventide and searching over by the cranes with hooks now if you load into Eventide Ruins and head over to the Cranes in the distance where normally one of the public events takes place, one of the lower hooks has a platform hanging from it. Now the treasure that we're looking for can be found right up against the rock just by this particular platform. Now once you loot this cache you will get a crude cipher fragment, some map fragments and also a legendary piece of loot. Now the crude cipher is used as part of the Captain's Atlas and you will need at least two fragments before you can use this particular cipher. Now with part one out the way you will need to level up to level 10 to get your hands on part two so once you pick that up from the star chart over in the helm this will trigger a five part quest as before there are riddles we need to solve this one references the bay of drowned wishes and we need to run that lost sector over in a dreaming city and open that lost sector chest now if you're not too sure where the bay of drowned wishes is be sure to check your map of the dreaming city and you'll find it directly behind the landing zone for this particular destination now upon opening that chest we'll get a new riddle this references the dead shores of a lake shadows and also the strike so with that in mind we need to jump into the lake of shadow strike over on the european dead zone much like the Fallen Saber Strike, you don't need to do this in the Vanguard playlist and can simply choose this from the director itself. Now, as before, you simply need to run through this strike as you normally would. There are no subclass or weapon requirements. Now, by completing the strike and opening the chest, you'll get the next part of this quest. And this references wielding a sword during an expedition. So it's with that in mind, you can equip absolutely any sword. There's no requirement to have the sword out the entire time. You can kill combatants with other weapons. You simply need to ensure you have one equipped when completing the expedition itself. 
Now, once you complete the expedition, you'll get another riddle. This references Nessus and the column over in the cistern and also the pyramid imprint that we'll need to pass through. Now, if we head over to the Nessus map and load into the cistern, we're going to make our way over to this particular destination. So if you're not too sure exactly where this is referencing, then be sure to follow the route that I take here on screen to take you directly to this loot cache. Now, upon grabbing that cash, you'll get the final riddle for this part of the quest. Now, this references fluid falling from the sky, as well as a broken sphere with treasure hiding inside. This is actually located once again here on Nessus and is located over where the Cabal public event takes place, just north of the cistern. If you're not too sure where that is, I highly recommend following the route that I take here on screen. This is from the landing zone in the cistern, and this will take you directly to this cache. Now, once you've made it to this location, you'll be able to collect your reward. You'll get some legendary loot and also another crude cipher fragment. You will now have two out of two fragments. However, you're not able to equip the map into the Atlas. You need the third and final piece, and this becomes available once you hit level 16. And once you reach level 16, you'll be able to pick up the Cryptic Quadrants 3, and this has a seven part quest to it. Now, for the very first step, we need to head over to the European Dead Zone, over to the Sunken Isles, and we need to head over to the quarry lost sector as before you need to run through this lost sector as you normally would and open the chest at the end and much like the k1 revelation lost sector you don't even need to kill all the combatants as you work your way through you can run all the way to the final boss take them out and pick up that cash upon completion this will trigger the next part of the quest and this references the exodus crash which has one life to live so much like some of the previous riddles, we need to jump into one of the strikes, this one being the Exodus Crash, and run this one all the way to the end. And much like the other strikes that we've had so far, you simply need to set this from Director over on Nessus. There is no requirement to run this in the Vanguard playlist. Now, once you complete the Exodus Crash, you'll get the next part of the quest. This references the Catch Crash arc and also a hand cannon. Now, to complete this step, you need to run the Catch Crash activity, which forms part of Season of Plunder with the arc subclass class equipped as well as a hand cannon. Now you can complete this on the match made version of that activity and upon completion you'll get the next riddle in this quest. This references the atlas and using the crude cipher alongside the two beacons that we've already earned. Now if you put the crude cipher into the atlas you'll get the fifth part of this quest and this references the sequence in which you need to enter three symbols in order to unlock the next steps of this treasure map. It talks about the dusk being on the left, the light being on the right, and salvation being dead center. So with that being said, if you follow the combination that I do here on screen, this will complete this step and bring us on to some of the final parts of this quest. Here we need to head over to the Forgotten Shore over in the Cosmodrome, and we need to look for a vessel that's pointing towards the sea and look for a cache next to its mast. Now if you head over to the Forgotten Shore, you'll find this vessel over on the right hand side as if you're heading towards the Fallen Saber Strike. And as you approach this vessel, you'll see the bright green symbol ahead of the mast at the front of the ship. And once you collect this, this brings us on to the final part of the quest. This talks about a cave at the end of a stream alongside three pillars. Now this is also located here in the Forgotten Shore and you can find your way to it by using the stream that comes all the way from the Moth Yards. Now if you follow the route that I take here on screen from the Moth Yards, this will take you directly to that cave, which is where the final cache is located. Now, 
and once we go inside the cave if you pick up the cash you'll get the charge of light exotic sparrow which is actually a hidden item in our collections currently alongside some sweet legendary loot now the charge of light is an absolutely awesome exotic sparrow and really highlights bungie listening when it talks about putting some of the cosmetics that we would normally see in eververse and putting a loot chase in the game for us to earn them it's a really fun quest with some really cool riddles so if you plan to be working on them over the course of the next few weeks be sure to use this video to help you out and bag yourself some sweet exotic loot so there we have it guys that is how you solve the new exotic puzzle in season of plunder if you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more destiny 2 content and if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with destiny 2 then be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon